Hello everyone and welcome to Civil Skills Academy. In this video, we will discuss about how to add brake lines to surface and how to add a boundary to surface and how to get a 3D view of surface to get a better understanding. If you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe it to see such similar videos. Oh, without wasting any time, let's get started. So here in this file, we have an existing surface. So I want to add a break line. So this is a 3D polyline. It can also be a feature line as well. So to get to add this, you need to select it and you need to go to the break lines on the prospector tab, surface definition, break lines and add. You can type in a description. I'm going to go with this standard type make sure to use weeding factor as per your requirements so i'm gonna click ok so as you can see it has automatically updated the surface to get a better understanding you can change the surface style to contours and triangles and to do that you need to go to surface properties and change the style to contours and triangles so this is how you add a brick line to surface and next we will discuss about how to add a boundary to surface to do that you need to first draw a polyline i'm gonna go with this one so you can draw a polyline as per your requirement It's taking too long. So I'm I'm gonna use only uh, lines. I'm not gonna use any arcs or something like that. And next, we're gonna go to surface definition. You're gonna click on boundaries, right click, add, and you're gonna add a, a certain description, outer, and make sure to select outer border and make sure to turn off non destructive red lines and click on OK. And it will ask you to select your polyline, just select your polyline, and it will automatically update your surface as you can see. So that's how you add a boundary to your surface. Next, we will discuss how to get a 3D view of a surface. And to do that, you need to first select your surface, right click and go to Object Viewer. So this is how you can get a 3D view of a surface. And you can move in as per your requirement to, but to get a better understanding of a surface. And you can see the styles as well. So that's how you can get a 3D view of a surface. So that's it for today's video. I hope you understood how to get and how to add a brick lines, how to add a boundary, and how to get a 3D view of surface. That's it for today's. We will meet again in the next video. So thank you for watching.